Thank you for joining me again. Welcome to the daily devotional reading of the book, Our High Calling. Today's reading is entitled, Benefits of Regularity and Order, August 10th. I thank my God always on your behalf for the grace of God which is given you by Jesus Christ, that in everything ye are enriched by him, in all utterance and in all knowledge. 1 Corinthians 1, 4 and 5 There is need to cultivate every grace that Jesus has brought within our reach, for that grace alone can remedy our defects. Christ alone can transform the character, and God would have us manifest this grace so richly provided in the little as well as the large things of life. Our God is a God of order, and He desires that His children shall will to bring themselves into order and under His discipline. If the youth, and the young at heart, would form habits of regularity and order, that would improve in health, in spirits, in memory, and in disposition. It is the duty of all to observe strict rules in their habits of life. This is for your own good, dear youth and older ones, both physically and morally. When you rise in the morning, take into consideration, as far as possible, the work you must accomplish during the day. If necessary, have a small book in which to jot down the things that need to be done, and set yourself a time in which to do your work. Slow, dilatory habits make much work out of very little. But if you will, you may overcome these fussy, lingering habits. The exercise of the willpower will make the hand move deftly. These matters have been looked upon as little things and almost unworthy of notice, but many are deceived as to the importance of these things. They bear strongly upon the great whole. God does not regard anything as unimportant that pertains to the well-being of the human family. He gave his only begotten Son for the body as well as the soul, and all is to be consecrated to him. Great truth can be brought into little things. Practical religion must be carried into the lowly duties of daily life, and in the performance of these duties you are forming characters that will stand the test of the judgment. Then, in whatever position you may be placed, whatever your duties may be, do them nobly and faithfully, realizing that all heaven is beholding your work. Thank you for listening today. Be sure to join me tomorrow for another reading from the book, Our High Calling. God bless you.